What is going on, my Houston Texans fans? We are opening up the preseason against the New Orleans Saints, and there is some groups that we have to watch. This is why I love the preseason, right? Not only is football back, thank God, but we see guys fighting for jobs, fighting for roster spots, for, uh, for playing time, maybe even for starting jobs. That's why this preseason game is so crucial. You want to get the best 53 men on your team, so I'm, I'm going to give you guys some of the stuff that I will be, but I will be looking at. Number one, I want to see all these linebackers because this is the position that I think is really open. At some point in the season, I could see Christian Harris, Garrett Wallow, even Neville Hewitt has got some praises that can potentially starting at the linebacker position for the Houston Texans. We do expect it to be the two veterans, Christian Kirksey and Gruger Hill, but how long until these young guys go at it and their athletic ability, their speed, right? Your two fastest linebackers are Garrett Wallow and Christian Harris. Both guys got some reps with the first team on OTAs, have got some reps in training camp with the ones. It's going to be interesting to see how these young guys play because, as we know, these linebackers need to cover nowadays. They need to be fast. Uh, Christian Harris and Garrett Wallow is. I'm not saying the other two veterans can, but – there is definitely some competition there. Number two is they running backs. I think we might see an equal dose of Marlon Mack and Damian Pierce. Why Marlon Mack? Because well, we haven't seen him in damn near a year. We want to see if he is fully, fully back healthy from his injury. I do expect the starters to go maybe one to two drives, depending on how successful they are. But I do expect Damian Pierce to show why everyone wants him to be the, to be the starting running back for the Houston Texans. I feel like he might break one and take it to the house. That's what I feel, you know, what happened with the running back position, you know, this Saturday. Another thing I'm going to be watching is the interior battle because they're, I don't think Kenyon Green is going to play. Max Sharpen and AJ Ken and Justin McCray are all going to be fighting for playing time and maybe fighting for that roster spot. I do think that Kenyon Green locks it up at the left guard position, but at the right guard, AJ can, who knows? We do know that when I was there um, on Wednesday at training camp, they were absolutely struggling against Collins and Blacklock and Roy Lopez. And we've heard other people say that well as well that the interior line just hasn't been looking good as of late. So I want to see what these guys could do against the other team, maybe our three, de uh, our three defensive tackles are just that freaking good. The third thing that I will be watching is the safety group it does say that the starters are Jalen Petrie and Jonathan Owens however I need to see Jonathan Owens just kind of solidify that yes he is indeed the starting safety for this team I have no doubt that Jalen Petrie is going to do that the dude has been getting some looks at a linebacker as well he is a Swiss Army knife I am definitely excited to see what Jalen Petrie does in this first game in his home city the vibe all around Houston is great the vibe around this team, you know, is great. When you go to training camp, if you have the opportunity to go to training camp, fans, it's like everyone's bought in. Everyone knows that brighter days are ahead, and now it's time to put in the work and go ahead, you know, and push forward. The last thing that I'm going to be watching is which one of these wide receivers, these slot guys, are going to take that position. Is it Philip Dorsett? Is it Chester Rogers? Davion Davis? Who knows? We will find out more this Saturday against some competition not named the Houston Texans. You guys let me know what you think. As always, go Houston. You guys have a very blessed day.